Hello, on behalf of the Army Soldier Records Branch, welcome to the second video segment on the Record Review Tool. The purpose of this video is to show record managers how to initiate a personnel record review in iPerms. Log into iPerms. Note the Privacy Act statement. Select the Record Manager role. There are three ways to initiate a review. Using the Initiate Review tab, using the List Reviews tab, or using the Unit Detail Report in the Reports tab. To initiate a review using the Initiate Review tab, you select Initiate Review on the left navigation pane, type in the soldier's social security number, List any additional email addresses who the RM wants to receive an email notification regarding this review. Add any specific message or text the RM wants to relate to the soldier. If the soldier is physically with you, there is no need to add a message in the email. However, if the record manager is setting up an appointment with the soldier to conduct the review or asking the soldier to start the review process remotely, Ensure there's enough information in the email so the soldier understands what they are expected to do. I'm going to set this review up as if I was making an appointment with the soldier to conduct the review. Select the Initiate Review at the bottom of the page. A pop-up will display asking if the soldier is present. Select the appropriate response. If the response is yes, another box will appear the soldier needs to insert their common access card into the secondary reader and digitally sign the document, then select Open Review. If the answer is no, move on to the Open Review. After logging in as Record Manager, select the list of views on the left navigation pane. To query by review type, Select the magnifying glass and select either Personnel or Finance Review. To do a range of due dates to and from, select the calendar icons and select the range of dates you want to search by. To query by status, select the magnifying glass and select either Complete, In Progress, Overdue, or Overdue in Progress. To run a query by the Record Manager, type in the Record Manager name. To query by a particular soldier, type in the soldier's name. To query by soldier criteria, select Add and select from one of the available categories. Distinct unit, distinct attachment, current organization, grade, rank, military personnel class, soldier status, birth month, birth year. To query by SSN, put one or more SSNs in this section. You can sort and or secondary sort by rank, soldier name, UPC, SSN, review type, soldier sign, review status, reviewer, or due date. Output format. You can select either HTML or CSV, which is an Excel spreadsheet. You would utilize the HTML if you were going to initiate a review right from your screen. You would utilize the CSV or Excel if you wanted to put a copy onto your desktop and use for tracking purposes. Maximum rows. Default is set at 100. If a search is for over 100 personnel, the RM will need to change the value. Select the Run Report at the bottom of the page. The report shows the status of each soldier's review. There are five different status types listed in this column. None, a review has never been initiated. In progress, a review has been initiated. Documents may or may not have been checked and have not been signed by both the soldier and the records manager. Overdue in progress, a review has been initiated. Documents may or may not have been checked and has not been signed by both the soldier and the record manager. If the review is initiated when in an overdue status or if the review has not been completed 365 days after it was initiated. 
Overdue, a review that has not been initiated by the date after its due date. Complete, a review is complete when both the soldier and the record manager have both signed the review and a copy is filed in the soldier's record. The report will show a date in the status column and the due date will be 365 days from the date the review was signed by the record manager. In the report, you can select from any of the statuses to initiate a review on a soldier. When the RM selects the data in the status column, a new window will open to initiate the review. Follow the same process as if you were initiating a review utilizing the Initiate Review tab. To initiate a review using the Unit Detail Report, select the Reports tab on the left of the screen, then select Unit Detail, and type in the UIC. Omit the W when you're typing it in. Select Run Report. A report listing all the soldiers in that UIC will populate. Select the status in the Personnel or Finance Review column of the soldier you want to initiate a review on. Follow the same process if you are initiating review utilizing the Initiate Review tab. This concludes the second video segment of the Record Review Tool. The third video segment will demonstrate how to conduct a soldier present personnel record review.